Okay, this is going to be teaching you how to do something fun. Uh, by fun I mean drawing graphics to the screen. I don't like the icon, that's just my preference. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do this. So I'm going to first of all activate everything with a button, but I'll show you later how you can not do that. Um, you also need to get the uh, load event in order to initialize the variable. Uh, and for some reason I like to have events below the load just the way I like it um, so to make to draw graphics to the screen you need to make a graphics object so dim uh, G if you want or GR and probably just move for G but if you're dealing with RGB you might want G to be G I don't know it's up to you uh, dim G as graphics uh, let me show you actually the namespace. So system dot drawing dot, and then in here is graphics. But this is all like things to do with drawing in here. So if you ever want to look around and see what there is, that's what's uh, related to drawing. Um, and then graphics is obviously in there, and that's the graphics object which draws things to the screen. Um, <coughs> so. To initialize the variable, all you need to do is so g is equal to the surface which you're drawing onto. I'm going to do me to mean the um, the form dot create. Now, sometimes I don't know why, but create graphics isn't in the intelligence sometimes. So just be wary of that. You have to type, have to type create g before it actually appears sometimes. So just be wary of that. It, just make sure you type all the way to there before you have to press tab sometimes. Anyway, so that will make it. Um, if you want to draw to the screen, you do g dot draw line, let's say. So then you select your color, um, be blue, and then you can do point one, point two. So new point, and then comma new point. I'll put some money in now. Um, let's say uh, 50, 50, and uh, 300, 300. Just going to draw uh, like a negative kind of gradient. There we are. So. Yeah, so that's what that's done. If I spam this, it will draw it on top, but it won't uh, like appear to be any different. Um, one thing you should know about it, I'll show you how to fix this in a second. If you kind of like, let's show you this first. If you do this, it will actually rub parts out. Also, if you take it out of the screen, it will rub bits out. And if I got I hope there's nothing bad in this file browser. Okay, this is my recordings. Um, yeah, this doesn't rub out actually. I'm surprised by that. Okay, one thing you need to be aware of is you can't actually draw from the load event. This is because it tries to draw it. I don't know if you know, but the load event only makes the form appear when you get to the end of the event. So this stuff loads before the the visuals of the form loads so if you try to draw to the form before it's loaded you, it won't crash it just won't appear so you need to do it in here but uh, I will show you a way of making it appear like without doing it any event well strictly not true but you know um, first I just want to show you some other little drawing techniques so you can let's get rid of draw line and let's do draw a rectangle it's not square because a rectangle is a square with just equal sides so you just always do a rectangle same with a circle you don't do a circle you do eclipse because it can be a circle if you make both sides the same yeah um, so again you set the pen um, cyan and then rectangle so you do new rectangle and then inside here there should be four parameters you can do location and size or you can do x y width height um, let's do this just because it's a bit more funky you probably better do it the way like 
work it out the other way is what I meant. Uh, and a new size like that. Um, so point should be 50, 50, I like 50s. And then the size. Now, if I say I want it to go to 100, so I want it to go from 50, 50 to 100, 100, this won't work because this is a size. It'll go from 50, 50 to 150 and 150 because it's this plus this is the second coordinate. Rectangles don't work on coordinates, they work on, well, the corner is a coordinate and they don't do the second corner, they do a size. Um, so bear that in mind and this will draw a rectangle. Like so, you can just see it's clipped the button but um, yeah. Let me just quickly show you uh, it on a panel. Here's a panel and it, the way you draw on a panel, instead of doing me here, you say panel 1. And then this will make the rectangle here draw on the panel. It's not got fixed 3D border style, so you can't really see the panel, but the sign's there. I shouldn't have used sign, it's too bright. Uh, dark. Uh, dark cyan. That's better. Let's show you again. There we are. That's not even a very nice colour, but yeah. Um, finally, just one little side note, I'll get more into this next episode. If you want to fill a rectangle, you just do fill rectangle, but then you've got to change this to uh, solid brushes and then a colour rather than pen to colour. Uh, it'll come with the predictions, so you won't be struggling there. So let's do red. And this will fill it in. Okay, so now finally I will show you how to um, prevent the rubbing out and to make it appear without pressing a button or doing anything like that what you need to do is just a special event called you form one events and then uh, paint so it's a dedicated event for drawing really kind of um, so I can get rid of this I can get rid of the button and it will just carry on painting it um, so it loads, it paints when I'm doing this it's not repainting it when I bring it back it repaints it so this isn't repainting it this is this doesn't repaint it, this does so decreasing the boundaries doesn't repaint, increasing does, taking it out of the screen doesn't repaint, bringing it back in does. The reason for that is there's no need to repaint it because you can't see it, but when you're doing it back there's a need to repaint it. Same here, you can, this would normally have been rubbed out, but it doesn't need to repaint it because it's off the screen, it's only when you're coming back on the screen you need to redraw it. So that's how it works. It's not a constant like a loop, it doesn't it only draws it when, like, say, when you do this or that.